Happy Monday and welcome to the next Willow Meal. Playing with your food. Darlings, look at this yummy bowl of homemade sour cream and onion tater chips. Chef has for y'all. Continue to watch, enjoy the recipe, scoop it up, go have a bowl. Chef Dad here, and y'all guessed it, it's Willow Mill time, let's get to spinning. What we cooking? Snack appetizer, protein, vegetarian. Where are you cooking it? Stove top. Plating it on or in. A bowl. Messing with Chef, is that necessary? Fill in the blank. Darlings, I've been wanting to make this recipe since last year. I'm about to make some homemade sour cream and onion tater chips. Yes, I am. They cost too much in the store. Grab your taters. Grab a large bowl, add in eight cups of water, and whisk in a quarter cup and a teaspoon of your kosher salt. Grab three pounds of your russet taters, and I want you to go and wash them up real good because them things are dirty. Grab a mandolin or whatever you need to use them, and I want you to slice them one-tenth of an inch thick. Just like that. Beautiful. Grab that salty water and add in your taters, and we're going to let them sit in here for 20 minutes. Grab your spice grinder and add to it three tablespoons of your buttermilk powder, two tablespoons of your onion powder, and then one tablespoon of your garlic powder, and then a half teaspoon of your sugar, sugar, and then one teaspoon of your kosher salt. Mince up three tablespoons of your fresh dill, add it in. Now you want to mix it till it all comes together. That's beautiful, y'all. It even smells like it. All right, ladies, I'm coming for your southern card. All right, set that aside. Now, if you got a large pan or a Dutch oven, go grab it. Set it on the stove top. Now, I would use my deep fat fryer, and y'all can too if you want to. But the Willow Mill said I had to cook it on top of the stove. So, that's what I did. You want to add in about eight cups of oil. Go ahead and get it started to about 350 degrees. That's what we want. 20 minutes later, grab your taters, and I want you to dry them off completely because they're going in oil, and I don't need y'all getting burned. Now that they're dry, we're going to cook them in batches. Another one of my gadgets. Let's test and see if we got 350 on the monitor. 350. Time to put them in. Slowly drop them in and we're going to cook them for about two to three minutes. Grab your spider so you can flip them every now and then. They already starting to brown, baby. These look wonderful. Now I'm going to go ahead and take mine up after two and a half minutes because they're going to continue to cook after we take them out. Put them in a bowl. As soon as they come out of that grease, I want you to take that seasoning and I want you to sprinkle it all over it. Don't forget to toss them. Now this is your sour cream and onion tater chips. Make sure you put enough sour cream on there because I hate getting a bag and it tastes like it's plain when it's not. Darlings, and then take them and put them on your baking sheet until they're nice and cooled off. Once they've cooled off and got nice and crispy for you, you know exactly what time it is. Well, good lord in the morning, darlings. Look at this beautiful bowl of homemade sour cream and onion tater chips Chef has for y'all. With that beautiful piece of dill on there, babies, you cannot do it without it. This is truly southern on a plate. Grab some hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Or grab your homemade sour cream and onion dip. Mm-hmm. Now, in my mouth. P.S. And yes. Bon appetit. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, sure. Now, ladies, do you get to keep your southern card? Did I snatch it? In all honesty, I'll let you keep it. It's just easier that way. But this is still delicious. See y'all next week, Bill. Bye. There ain't nothing like a nice, enjoyable bag of Lay's sour cream and onion tater chips. But darling, if you're in the middle of the night or if you're on the weekend, if you just can't get to the store, grab you some taters, scoop up this recipe, and darlings, you can have all that you like. Go put some southern on your plates and in your mouth. Thanks for watching.